Bill O'Reilly here. You are listening to the O'Reilly Update, sponsored by Tax Network USA, America's number one choice for tax resolution. Please go to TNUSA.com slash bill or call 800-245-6000. Coming up next, the news with Mike Slater. Thank you, Bill. It's Friday, September 27th, 2024. Here's what's happening today in America. Hurricane Helene, deplorable double down. Ice, Boston, and worth the broken leg. That's all coming up. And Bill's going to be here with your message of the day. But first, Hurricane Helene, a Category 4 storm, will threaten well-built framed homes with severe damage, potentially losing both roof and walls. Most trees are snapped or uprooted, and power poles are downed. The Hurricane Center says that power outages will last weeks, possibly months. Most of the area will be uninhabitable for weeks or months. What? Ron DeSantis says that there are 18,000 linemen staged ready to move in once the storm passes to restore power. The Florida National Guard has 3,500 soldiers and airmen ready. The Florida State Guard has 10 shallow water vessel boat teams, seven flat bottomed flood rescue skiffs, two amphibious rescue vehicles, 12 UTVs, 15 cut and toss crews, seven search and rescue teams, 2,100 Florida Department of Transportation personnel working for storm response, 858 generators for traffic signal power. Florida's as ready as they can be. Remember in 2016, Hillary called half of Trump supporters deplorables? The even worse part was irredeemable. Well, she doubled down. She said, I was talking about the people who were drawn to his racism, sexism, homophobia, xenophobia, Islamophobia, you name it. And just look at everything that's happened in the years since, from Charlottesville to January 6th. The masks have come off. And if anything, deplorable is too kind of a word for the hate and violent extremism we've seen from some Trump supporters. ICE Boston announced another arrest, this time of an El Salvadorian MS-13 gang member who snuck in to the U.S. as a gotaway. This is the same operation that took down two Salvadorian child rapists and two other illegal aliens charged with sex crimes. All of these child rapes were on the island of Nantucket and still not a peep from the people of Nantucket. A 79-year-old woman went on a hike in Ashford, Washington by herself, 3.2-mile trail. She's done it many times. But at the top, she broke her leg. Fortunately for her, two young men were there to come to her rescue. Troy May, 20 years old. He's an airman at the nearby Air Force Base. He said, I knew I was capable of carrying her down. I really didn't make much of a decision. I just knew I needed to carry her down if I could. The woman said, I was just overwhelmed with gratitude that these people literally came out of the woods to help me, and they were totally unselfish and kind. I thought these people were behaving like angels coming from the sky. I'm Mike Slater from the podcast Politics by Faith. Bill O'Reilly has your message of the day. Next. Did you know every day is a perfect day for peace of mind? With American Home Shield Warranty, you are covered for unexpected breakdowns like leaky faucets or faulty water heaters. Choose a plan that fits your budget and rest easy knowing repairs and replacements are taken care of. Simply contact American Home Shield when an issue arises, and their trusted pros will handle it according to your coverage. Don't let worries about appliances and home systems weigh you down. Celebrate the reassurance of protection. Don't worry, be warranty. For 20% off plans, visit ahs.com slash bill. For more details, see ahs.com slash contracts for coverage details, including limit amounts, fees, limitations, and exclusions. Time now for the O'Reilly Update message of the day. On this Friday, I hope you did not watch the PBS program Frontline on Tuesday because it was a fraud. And it's a fraud that we, the people, the taxpayers, are funding to the tune of 550 million dollars a year to the public broadcasting company. The program was assessing both political candidates for president, Trump and Harris. The problem was that Frontline brought in 15 people to disparage Trump. No one on the entire hour disparaged the vice president. So it's 15 anti-Trump, no one dissenting from Kamala Harris. So let me ask you, 
Does that seem fair? It's portrayed as a news documentary. Now, I could go over the distortion, and it was one after the other after the other, but the fix was obviously in. When you lead with Mary Trump, all right, the former president's niece, who hates his guts and has made millions of dollars hating him, when you lead with that front line, you're not being fair. And the 550 million that the public broadcasting operation gets is funding a fraud. I'm Bill O'Reilly. I approve the message by writing it. You can reach me, Bill at BillOReilly.com, Bill at BillOReilly.com. Name in town if you wish to opine. Now let's go to the mail. Curtis Skelton, uh, Monica, Pennsylvania. Thank you for the a- annual membership gift. I'm enjoying confronting the presence. I never knew Aaron Burr's wife filed for divorce and used Alexander Hamilton's son as her attorney. We got stuff like that on every page. Okay, and I'm glad you're liking confronting the presidents. And I'm glad you re-upped your membership to BillOReilly.com. If you re-up or become a new member, you get confronting the presidents free or any of my other killing books. The best deal around. And we hope you take advantage of it. Bill, concierge, remember at age 71, I never read a book in one week until I opened Confronting. Keeps you there, I know. Al, uh, thanks, Bill. Confronting the presidents arrived yesterday in time for the weekend. You're correct in saying patriotism is derived from knowledge of which the past couple of generations have been deprived. You got it. If you know kids who are sincerely interested in your country, uh, our country, their country, give them confronting. And once they start, they won't stop. Velma Hansen, uh, Wildemar, California. I'm enjoying watching you on the Patrick Bed David podcast. The long form gives us uh, a very interesting view of you, Bill. Um, I didn't want it to end. So we are on this week, Patrick Bet David's podcast. And I'm going to use a clip of it tomorrow. It's good. You'll learn a lot from that. Uh, Clyde in Bulgaria. Wow, Clyde. One of your best columns. I've copied it and sent it to all my British friends. Good. The column uh, is about uh, bad hombres in the White House. It's on BillOReilly.com, the Sunday column. In a moment, something you might not know. Are you feeling the impact of recent timeshare industry changes? Now more than ever, the costs of timeshare ownership far outweigh the benefits. My friends at Lone Star Transfer are the only company I trust to help you get out. Our listeners' positive feedback demonstrates why I've supported the company for years. For more than a decade, they have helped over. 20,000 owners get out of the timeshare. Their exclusive options can help you get out faster and easier, more than any other option in the country. They are the only company that will give you a written guarantee and release you from your timeshare in a specific time frame. With an A-plus rating at the Better Business Bureau, thousands of five-star reviews, customer service is their top priority. For free consultation and a guaranteed solution, please call 855-551. 7066. That's 855 551 7066. Or go to lonestartransfer.com. Now, the O'Reilly update brings you something you might not know. 2024 election will go down as the most expensive presidential contest ever. Back in 1980, the campaigns of Jimmy Carter and Ronald Reagan raised a combined total of $300 million. This year, Trump and Harris will top $1 billion in political donations. Here's where the money comes from. Federal law allows individuals to give $3,300 per candidate for a primary, another $3,300 for the general election. So it caps at $6,600 per person to donate to an election cycle. However, there is no limit to the amount of money a person can give to political action committees. They are called super PACs. These groups support individual politicians but have no formal connection with the campaign, or so they say. 
As of this broadcast, the Democrats have raised $500 million for Vice President Harris. Republicans, $350 million for Donald Trump. Big donors for Kamala include George Soros, Mark Zuckerberg, various Hollywood moguls, wealthy Trump supporters, casino magnate Sheldon Adelson, billionaire investor Robert Mercer. Most of their cash is spent on advertising in the battleground states. The problem with all this is the politicians are beholden to the people that gives them money. For example, they can appoint folks ambassadors, which is, if it's a good country, a pretty plush job. We got Caroline Kennedy down in Australia now. Previously, she was an ambassador to Japan. And in business, if you are well favored by the White House, you have an enormous advantage for government contracts or for favorable treatment. So all of this money can lead to corruption. Now, I'm not pointing any fingers right now, but I'm watching this. Because in the past, big presidential donors have gotten that quid pro quo, Latin for this, for that. Back after this. Hey, Bill O'Reilly here. America is at a breaking point. Record inflation, interest rates, debt. The last thing we need is more reckless government spending and higher taxes, and they could happen. Plus a hit to your retirement savings. So protect your savings with American Hartford Gold. They'll help you secure your retirement by diversifying with physical gold and silver. Start with a simple phone call. They'll guide you through the process. Even deliver gold and silver right to your door. Or place it directly in your IRA or 401k. Don't wait. Call or text American Hartford Gold today. Tell them O'Reilly sent you to get up to $15,000 of free silver on qualifying orders. Call 877-444-GOLD. 877-444-GOLD Gold, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD or text GOLD to 65532. Thank you for listening to the O'Reilly Update. I am Bill O'Reilly. No spin, just facts, and always looking out for you.